part two of today's stream. See if I can make a chest and put this stuff in it. God, I don't have the water source. <clears throat> Excuse me. I need water to put down the other shaft, or I'm going to go straight down, which is not cool. Let me throw a torch up here, too. Um, I got a bucket. I just need to go get water. Um, is there... A water source around here somewhere. Hmm. Wish I could melt snow. Well, well, all these are water source. That's right. Ha ha. How you like that? That's think where you're canogging. Let's go like this. Here we go. I forgot. Yeah, by using the kelp, I'm um I made all those every single block is a little first block. Whoa, no 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 no. Oh boy. <laughs> I went too fast. I went too fast. I went faster than the water stream. It should be coming down here. There we go. Wow. Yeah. And that happened. Come on. Did that happen? Now I have to. I don't think I have any more. Let me check the audio too. Testing. Testing. Okay. Let's see what I can do here. Um. <clears throat> I need underwater breathing. Technically, I don't because I can. Go into a thing where I can breathe a little bit, but oh, this is gonna be so crazy! All right, I need the um, yeah, I really need the underwater breathing. I don't want to take a chance. And then drown in the whole nine yards. I need the uh, totem of them dying too. Where the heck's the bucket? I just threw that bucket out. Oh, it must have stacked. Um. Yeah. So I would have to go over to um, Aquatica and uh,
get more underwater breathing. All right, that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, let's just go that way, I guess. The reason why I'm not drowning in this is because it's um, a bubble elevator. So as long as it's got bubbles in it, you don't you don't drown. Dropping trees everywhere. Oh, Lord. So we'll make up some more underwater breathing and fix that next shaft. And then we'll be set up for uh, Wednesday stream. Hopefully, and I'll feel better than today. If you're just checking out the stream now, um, Thursday last week, uh, I'm, I'm a full-time Uber driver. Somehow, some way, I contracted some type of flu. So I've been sick since Thursday. And um, so I'm hoping that I'll be, you know, because I... By now, I should be starting to feel better. So hopefully Thursday, I mean um, Wednesday, I should be back to myself. I started to feel better last night, believe it or not, a little bit, but time will tell. Get up me boot. So I hope everyone had a good weekend. Um, I think I was talking earlier in the stream um, because <laughs> I was in bed Thursday and Friday. I figured I am not spending the whole weekend in bed, which would have been nice, right? It just drives me insane. Um, so I play. I've been wanting to play Call of Duty for a long time. I just don't, I don't have the time, and uh, that's what I did. And there's a um, a challenge in Call of Duty or Modern Warfare. Uh, Modern Warfare 2 called Koshi Complex and this is my recommendation. I, f I forget the gentleman uh, I watched Let me see if I can pull it up um, He was really good thanks to his tutorial. I was able to solve the Koshi Complex problem um, Let me see Whoop 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 Let me switch my YouTube channel. If I can find it, It'll land first. Okay. Um, I think it's geeky, geeky pastimes. No. No. Hmm. Hmm. Well, what do you know? Hmm. Sorry about that, guys. Um. Hmm. I have a couple of YouTube channels and I'm trying to figure out which channel I watched. Yeah, Geeksa. Uh, solo DMZ Koshi Complex Easy. Uh, Geeksa. G E E K S E H. Watch his video on the Koshi Complex for Modern Warfare 2. It, it works. Now, <clears throat> he recommends using a Bryson 890 shotgun. Um, and then he shows a, um, 
a build for that. Let me tell you right off the bat, a simple Bryson 890 with no nothing attached works just as good too. And um, since there's so many AI mobs in that uh, complex, that shotgun gets you through it. It's a this is my um, auto brewer, and uh, this is by Avamance. You just dial in the ingredients and you push the button and bada bing you have your brew. So what I need is the puffer fish for underwater breathing. Bada bing. And then uh, we're gonna set it for this will be for three minutes. I'm gonna set it for eight using redstone. And uh, every time new water bottles are placed in it comes with nether wart so it's already set up with an awkward potion for the next brew and uh, I built this back in I want to say August as well or July August or July I built this and this is Avamance's um, build it works it works tremendously you have to do a little adjusting because it's bedrock versus he does Java edition this is bedrock so there's a little bit of game tick difference but it works so if you want an auto brewer just by turning your lectern book and quill to the potion you want or not potion but the ingredient you need but you got to keep it stocked at all times now it shouldn't be a problem i got an auto crafter so it shouldn't be a problem now you'll see this is all set up for eight minutes you push the button here It'll drop that stuff down and then you get your next potion. See, it's already setting it up for the next brew. But I gotta make a storage facility for all the brew. Okay. Let me put the empty bottles in here. And I also have a bottle. It sets up the it fills it up with empty bottles with water before it sends it down. It's a good system, man. Um, Avamance, check it out. You basically have to put all the ingredients in here. So if I have a storage facility, it would automatically go to here for all the uh, materials. And then all you gotta do is, and it's stored up inside these dispensers and the circuits are connected to this and then you just turn to what materials you need push the button and boom you got it all right guys we're going to go back and uh, finish this up
<laughs> That's not the way I wanted it to happen. <laughs> you got to go with up, from down to up with a plank, uh, kelp, so I made a mistake. And that should do it. It's going to take a little bit for these to start coming down, but I can show you how it's supposed to work. Just put these in here. Put the wood 
Yeah, I might as well just put it all on here. And then, um, okay. I gotta make proper stairs over here. And let me challenge that helmet. Alright. So, when you're ready to leave, you just exit up this way. It takes away a few seconds, you don't drown. This is a bubble elevator going up. And I gotta make a proper way of coming up here and so that nothing's waiting for us on our way up. And then take this down. This has got bubbles so you won't drown going down. Just make sure you crouch when you get to the bottom or that magma block's going to burn you. You're gonna hear a smack if you don't have it crouched. And that's it. There's your bubble elevator of the day, folks. There's your tutorial. I think I dug this out so I could see the other parts of this. You could actually see the bricks to the trial chamber from the outside. That way, if you get lost and you want to see how big the actual complex is, just dig from the outside and you can see. All right. Um, but my idea is to basically, anywhere there's spawners to uh, dig up the floor so that when the spawners activate all the mobs will fall into a water uh, like a river that they can flow into a um, trident killer and at the same time have access I think that's the breeze over there yeah it's the breeze and at the same time <clears throat> have like a pathway that I can access the treasure um, spawners um, it's like this room is a major mob spawner see like that up there that's that's not a mob spawner that's a treasure spawner you put a key in there and it coughs out the uh, loot once the uh, trial chamber is over with so we could experiment with just yeah, but see what happens is it's not just this room's going to be <laughs> turned on. This is a big complex. If I come in here in hard mode, anywhere, anywhere in here, all the cages are going to um, turn on. So I'm going to have to make sure that the rooms are already set up to, to grab any mobs when they spawn. And then I need a platform that I can walk up there. The breeze thing, that guy's not going to fall straight down he can fly anywhere so if I make a platform where he can't get out that might work that might work but that's I think that's gonna be for Wednesday's stream cuz I folks I'm not feeling my best but this is only one of a couple of different rooms that I have to get prepared for so I think there's another as we walk down this way there's more spawners along this thing and I gotta polish all these up with hun uh, the honeycomb so that uh, they stay lit You don't have to worry about mobs spawning here, only the mob cages provide the mobs in here, so you don't have to worry about being dark and stuff spawning. Yeah, there's more rooms. Throughout this place, I just need to map this all out. And everybody's spawner is different. Or trial chamber is different, so mine not uh, might not necessarily be the same as yours, but you get the general gist. So when I come back on Wednesday, we'll start to dig stuff out. See, there's, but this is a see, this is a treasure. This is a treasure spawner. And allegedly, 
it can only be used once so I don't know if that's true or not and that don't make sense if it is why would you have gone through the whole update to only be used once that don't make sense I'm thinking maybe once you know one one at a time like you use the trial chamber after each challenge that's what I'm thinking not forever I mean it don't make sense why would you have this all you went through this whole experience of getting this thing set up and you can only use it once that don't make sense but we will find out on Wednesday I gotta dig this floor out but see that's just um, yeah that's the treasure spawner right there I don't think there's any other mob spawners in the vicinity oh yeah that's a mob spawner okay see that's a treasure spawner mob spawner another mob spawner that's why I'm Wednesday I'm gonna have to map this out to get an idea the music disc could be in any I could break this open let's try let's see what's in there no the self touch user regular pick yeah just arrows place out all right <laughs> I really want to keep <coughs> excuse me figuring out what's in this place and I think if you do it with a silk touch well, there you go. <coughs> if you use the silk touch, you get the uh, stuff that was inside. And uh, nice. I guess if you break the chip then you can get like the pattern I'm gonna have to make a chest for down here too gotta figure out where the honeycomb and stuff there was a I guess I have to make a bee farm out here too yeah, that's definitely the mob main mob room is right there. Believe it or not, I did also, <laughs> I, I uh, scraped off all that stuff the f last week and it's already oxidizing. I think there's a way to get down here. There's a mob right there. Yeah, it's going to take me out almost the entire stream to map it out and play with this. I'm going to need a lot of um, honeycomb. See, there's a mob right there. Treasure, treasure spawner. You need the trial key in order to open it. And you get that just like a raid farm once the whole cycle is finished. And there's another floor above. Another room. 
goes upstairs too. See, there's another area up top. That's um, breeze charge, wind charge. And another floor. What I gotta do is um, start labeling everything so I know which floor I'm at, like first, second, third, fourth floor, east wing, all that stuff, because everything looks the same. Unless I get a map, I guess I could map this place out, I suppose. Surprise, there's no copper thing here. Copper lamp or something, it's kind of dark down in here. Oh, there's a copper lamp right inside of it. Nice. This is the main entrance. That's why I'm saying I should have. Did those uh, bubble elevators like right over here. But it is what it is. It is what it is. For a second here, I thought it was part of that mace. I was like, wait a minute, you gotta do this other stuff before you do that. Hmm. How you get up there? Hmm. I don't have any of my ladders on me. Pull out some of those blocks. Another treasure spawner. Okay. That's pretty much it. We'll come back on Wednesday and really dive into this thing. Maybe we can map it out properly too on Wednesday. All that noise you hear in the background, it's those treasure spawners. You get close to it, it lights up. Yeah, I get the honeycomb, it'll, it'll keep them shiny permanently. Man, where did I... Now I'm lost. I guess it came down, down there? Uh, 
get back down there? That's the question. Hmm. Hmm. I bet you it's that side room with the steps. Yep, that's where we came in. With the shulkers. Alright guys. This is where I'm going to leave it off until Wednesday. Let me turn around here. And take off my helmet. So I hope you guys had a decent uh, <laughs> Monday stream, even though I'm not feeling the best. Um, we'll pick it up here on Wednesday and uh, try to turn this place into a giant farm, if at all possible. And maybe uh, a base too. I like to put a tower uh, where the tree is and surround this place like a tower. But we'll see on Wednesday, guys. And uh, let's see if I can find you all a raid. Let me see. Again, we're welcoming our new followers, Impulsive Pyromaniac and uh, Pixel Lixip. And you guys have a good Monday. Let me see here. I guess we want to try going into uh, Luke Java. Let's see if we can get into Luke Java's room. Looks like he's playing Minecraft. And. Uh, as soon as it pops up here, we can get into his room doing a raid. Here we go. Let's raid it. Folks, have a good Monday, and I will see you Wednesday. Thanks for stopping by. Um, wait a minute. Here we go. All right. See you guys. See you guys Wednesday. Thank you.